today um, I was actually on my way from home from work today and I stopped at a stop sign I have a I was almost home and my truck just dropped into fourth gear um, I don't know what happened I was sitting still when it did it and I literally had to drive the truck almost two miles with it stuck in fourth gear so uh, in an earlier clip that I videotaped, you can see that my truck is stuck in fourth gear. And when I've shifted, it won't even go into drive. So here in a second, I'm going to pull up these codes and I'm going to share the codes that I got from my EFI Live uh, controller or, or screen up there and show you if what I think it is. I still haven't done no research on the, on it. So I'm going to post this video up, f video up for anybody who can give me information on what these codes are. This is actually a live issue that was unexpected. I literally have a show to be at Saturday with this truck, so I'm hoping that I can figure it out and get it back on the road ASAP. So just stay tuned. I'm gonna get these codes and then I'm gonna let you know what they were. All right, everybody, day three, we're back at it with the truck. Um, so today I actually ordered a part that was recommended to me from Everything Diesel. So, um, we're not going to be dropping the transmission pan today, but, uh, definitely going to be probably doing it tomorrow or Saturday morning. Um, but today we're going to be changing the oil so that that's just one less thing that I have to, one less thing that I have to mess with, uh, actually on Saturday morning or tomorrow afternoon or whatever. So I'm going to show y'all what brand of oil that I actually run. Some of y'all should actually know. I'm just going to set this up and I'm not going to get no step for step, but Hey, this is day three of the 30 day marathon. I promise you I'm gonna keep my word. So uh, day three, stay tuned. So for the oil that we're gonna be running, uh, I actually run the Amsoil full synthetic, 100% full synthetic, uh, 5W30. Uh, that's what we're gonna be putting in the truck today. And also tomorrow uh, I will be, <laughs> thanks to Bane, I will be putting Amsoil uh, automatic transmission fluid into the truck, okay? Uh, it's 100% full synthetic, and I'm also gonna be running the AMS oil oil filter. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, and we're gonna be putting a new fuel filter. So we're gonna be doing the work today. So we're gonna do the oil today, and we're gonna do the fuel today. So stay tuned. So, We've uh, got the oil change, and we're going to get ready to drop the uh, transmission fluid tomorrow after work for day four video. Day four. But we have um, some brand new oil. It's been topped off. Uh, we're just, I'm just showing my process of what I'm going through with this truck, and we're going to take it one step at a time. So hopefully the part that I was recommended will fix it. I still have not driven the truck. So I'll probably pull it out later today and actually drive it. So uh, stay tuned. If I do drive it, then I will put it in this video and show you what happens. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel for day four of uh, my 30 day challenge. So for day three, I actually didn't drop the physical video because I figured I should just add this in here. So today we're going to be dropping the oil out of my transmission. Uh, my transmission, I have a 68 uh, RFE transmission. So uh, we're going to be dropping the oil. We're going to be changing one of the solenoids in the transmission as well as adding in some more Amsoil oil. So stay tuned. I'm going to try to videotape when I can. So, hey, uh, give me, give me uh, an opportunity, I guess. So here we go. So after you push this little red tab down, you're actually going to pull down on the white. See this little white lever right here? You actually pull down on that and it swings around. And that's how you get it loose. So be careful with it. Uh, it's definitely not something that wants to come out really well or really easy. So just be forewarned, it's uh, not very enjoyable. So actually, after you get this 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 uh, connector loosened, it's not actually that hard. You're gonna loosen all these eight millimeter bolts all the way around. And then you gotta be careful because it's gonna it's gonna drop at that point. So I'm gonna loosen these up and show you the results the best so, yeah. I can. As you can see, um, I have mine kind of sort of draining. I'm gonna let mine drain for a little while, just like that, just to see if I can get as much out as I can before the seal breaks. Um, 
I actually left a screw on each corner. I don't know if you can even tell that's stripping, but I left a screw on each corner of it just to hold it up there and I broke the seal loose. So it's actually coming through the seal, but it's not completely falling. So hopefully whenever it does slow down with draining, I can uh, go ahead and pop it all the rest of the way off or knock it the rest of the way off, take those screws out and it hopefully won't be a... All right guys, hopefully, all right, so hopefully you can actually see this. Uh, I'm actually got it back in now. I'm about to connect the connector up here and put the funnel back in it or the last filter in it. Uh, it was a, it wasn't that bad. It honestly was not that bad. So if this fixes the issue, I would definitely recommend doing this yourself a, a thousand percent. All right, everybody. Uh, just for everybody new knows, come on, bang, get out of here. So that everybody knows. The part I actually ended up changing, it was actually my transmission uh, shift solenoid. It was actually up against my valve uh, valve body. Uh, so I had to end up dropping out my whole entire valve body out of my transmission and replacing this. Um, it had like 14 bolts or 15 bolts in it, I believe. Um, but all together, I had to take like 30 something volt, bolts out of the truck or out of the transmission and drain all the fluid. So that's actually the part that fixed it. So, all right, what's up everybody? So I finally got everything put back together. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't videotape it at all, but it was actually a, a big handful to get it all done. So I decided just to stick to it and get it done. But right now we're about to fill it up. So wish me luck. So that was actually the part that actually fixed it. Uh, so remember the codes that I had were P0700 uh, and P0750. It actually did fix my issue. So. I would tell y'all guys, if you are in your truck randomly and you stop and, well, in my scenario, I was at a stop sign and my truck just got dropped down to fourth gear and stayed there and it won't change gears, more than likely, that's what it is. My boy, everything, everything Diesel actually recommended this part to me, like instantly as soon as I put it out there that I was having issues and it fixed it. So shout out to him, hey, and also, he actually has his white Dodge Ram for sale right now. So if you want that truck or are in the market for an amazing truck, it's an amazing deal for all the work that he's done on that truck. Let me vouch for the truck myself. I know how much he probably has with that truck and it's well worth every dime that he's asking. So just remember, if you are interested in everything Diesel's truck, reach out to him, uh, DM him. Um, I'll probably try to put a link to or a, uh, um, description somewhere in the video where you can know how to spell his Instagram tag. But hey, it's an amazing truck. So